You're inside the Neo Soul Movement with Doug Ruffin, mixed in 80 AM, W-U-F-O. Thanks so much for the listen. That was the music of Lettucey. So into you. And I'm sitting here with my special in-studio guest tonight. And um, I re- I was talking to her about the very first time I had a chance to see her perform. Um, it was last summer, last August to be exact. Uh, we were myself and my uh, fraternity brother we were hanging out one night at blush and we just hanging out there one night you know we didn't didn't really know who was on the bill to perform we were just there basically hanging out and um this young lady got up to the mic and was performing and she was definitely doing her thing and i also had a chance recently in like the last month or so i believe to check her out again at neo soul tuesday and i'm glad to have her on the show today i'm talking about none other than Tiffany, Tiffany, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right, Tiffany. Um, I guess as I do with all the artists I have on the show, let's uh, give people a chance to know you. The best thing to do is start from the beginning. Talk to us about where it began for you in singing, as well as who was your inspiration. Well, I've been singing since I was a child, and I grew up in in my father's church, uh, Unity Baptist Church, and I remember singing in the choir as a child and I used to tell my mom like mom I really want to lead a song I want to lead a song and she would say see uh uh-uh you I gotta hear you sing first because if if you don't sound right you're not gonna get up there singing so she um brung a song called help me lift Jesus Uh and it's really old I I don't know if people know it or not but she brung it to me I learned it listened to it and I basically had to audition for my mother in order for her to bring it to the minister of music and allow me to lead a song at eight years old at my church <laughs> and who better to audition for than your mother yeah from the, of, from the sound of it she wasn't playing she wasn't and she not gonna be like oh you can no she gonna keep it real like you know what this is not for you but she heard me and she she thought it, i was good enough to do it so that's when i started singing i was shy back then but i still love singing and i did it anyway and from what i've seen uh you've definitely got over that shine <laughs> i've seen you perform twice now <laughs> yeah <laughs> and i was to be i remember it brought, and i know we talked about this earlier um when we first saw you perform my, my frat brother and i we were we were kind of looking at each other and we were saying to ourselves you know who this sister reminds us of she reminds us of a, reminds us a lot of lettucey you know she's kind of got that <laughs> got that got that she's got her own style but she kind of kind of yeah. you kind of bring bring that to the performance yeah i definitely uh listen to a lot of let see she inspires me um my inspiration number one when i was 16 came from ndire wow. i was like like an ndire junkie and um my friends used to make fun of me they couldn't understand why do you listen to her and i'm like i what? love Are her you yes yes my friends were like that what's wrong what they got against ndire <laughs> look we are no longer (laughs) friends but (laughs) (laughs) no i used to clean up the house i I, like when i like an artist i over listen to them and that's probably why they hated her because i listened to it too much and then um i want to say when i turned like 18 19 that's when i was introduced to who is jill scott and ever since then i'm like i love her i just want to meet her i don't necessarily want to be like her but she does inspire my sound and uh my love for music and i just take a little bit of her and india and chrisette michelle of course and lettucey and That's i try nice to combination yeah <laughs> i try to stir it into this pot and call it tiffany there you go there you go okay so why don't you talk to us about I me mean, i know you've been busy so talk about some of the projects and performances that you've done okay well i started out with um tone tone banks who is my nd and guitar player my band and uh we've been friends for a while and i remember him saying to me uh we got to get you a band let's put together a band i used to be like you know what i'd rather just sing with a open open track cd on stage rather than a band i really don't want to do that but he was like i'm telling you it's going to be so nice if you it's better if you had a, a full production show with a band so then that's when he pretty much found all the players uh, we went, went, did our search for um, background singers, and um, so we had. Uh, um, I became good friends with uh, Rufus Cole, better known as Breezy, Breezy on keyboards. Um, Carl Flute Johnson playing the drums for me. Anthony, Anthony Cummings on the bass, Tone on the guitar, and then I've, I've had um, 
the opportunity to sing with Lynn Fletcher and uh, Trina and um, uh, a friend of mine named Dee Dee, Cece, who's no longer in Buffalo, and um, a, a, good, a great singer named Miko. So I, I had a couple of different in and out background singers and um, who went on and did their own thing. It's a, couple of, it's a couple of other girls I know I forgot to mention. I apologize. <laughs> but um, so we started putting on shows and my first show was actually at Second Cup. That was February of, uh, I want to say 2011. My first show. I had my first show there. I was very nervous. We actually ended up packing it over capacity. It was like I had to prove to myself that I can do it. And then we just started sh doing a lot of shows from that point on. Um, I also was introduced to Ron Walker of the, um, I'm sorry. It's all right. That's all right. The, um, I just got a brain fart. I'm trying okay. to think of the band. Oh my God, this is embarrassing. I hope you're not listening. You know Ron Walker. We know Ron Walker. Okay. <laughs> and I got introduced to Ron, and him and his band took me to uh, France this past January to February. We went to France to a conference called Midem, and it's uh, just a worldwide like music conference where you go in and they teach you the business of music. Right. As far as, and as well as entertainment, and it was, it was eye openers. Okay, and um, now you recently uh, were telling me that you spent some time in Atlanta, and you auditioned for Full Forces competition. Yeah. Can you tell us about that. Uh, this just this past week, I went to Atlanta, and Full Force is uh, launching a new online competition. I guess you can compare it to something like American Idol. They are they just launched that this year, and they had auditions. They held auditions in Atlanta. And I auditioned for their staff, and um, it was original music. They only want original music. It's called Making of the Legends because they want to see who is uh, capable and who fits the mold of being the next legend, you know, years from now. So um, out of all the contestants, me and two other contestants, contestants were chosen to represent their website and be their feature outfit. Uh, excuse me, feature artists. And if you go on www.makingoflegends.com, you'll see a picture of me and my single So Easy on there. Um, eventually, you'll be able to vote. And once I get that that information, then I'll spread the word out. Hopefully, I win. <laughs> All right, we're definitely praying for you, Tafani. Now, you've got an up upcoming album. Yes, I've been working on a. I have a three song demo right now. Um, okay production by my band and a production by uh, Victor Robinson and um, Mike Excel Martin and it's just a three song demo right now and um, I can't say when the actual album will come out but I have opportunities of just recording and I've, I've been given the opportunity to soon go to record in New York and I really don't I just want to record as much great music as I possibly can and then put together an album because I know the first album cannot it has to be great and Absolutely. I'm a, I'm my biggest critic so it's like I wanted to come out with the album this summer and I there just feel like no it's not ready <laughs> exactly <laughs> so when I'm ready and the album is ready it'll be out okay singer songwriter Tiffany if, if anyone wants to reach out to you and and find out more about you how can they get in contact with you you can follow me on twitter at tiffany t-i-f-a-n-i soul diva you can uh find me on facebook at tiffany the rhythm and soul diva um, i also have a website um www.tiffanymusicmusic.com all right. Well, thanks so much for hanging out with me, Tiffany. Thank you. We're definitely going to be looking forward to hearing that. When you get that, when you get that album done, let us know. Oh, I definitely will. We can will. definitely <laughs> feature you right here on the Neo Soul Movement with Doug Ruffin. All right, y'all. Make sure you got it locked in. Coming up after the break, I got music from Martin Luther, Eric Roberson, and the Neo News Views and Issues with Christina E. Stay close. More to come after this. When I can get big-name car insurance without a big price,